When I first started practice here about 1975, uh, most of our stuff was dictated on dictaphones, the old bell system that we used to use. And from then onwards onto digital, it was a big transition. Uh, we used pegboards for our billing services and our staff used to laboriously enter everything by pen or pencil over three, four charts of NCRs and finally calculate the uh, bills at the end of the day. Uh, from then on, we jumped to computers. And the first IBM computer I got for billing, surface, uh, billing purposes was as big as this table here, so the IBM 5. And I think the, there's only about 500 megabytes of storage space at that stage. Now your cell phones have more storage space than that. Uh, and later on, voice-activated dictation. There were many vendors that came around demonstrating voice-activated dictation, but I was a little hesitant to get into it at that stage because there was no backup of a big service organization like Eisenhower. Uh, and we could be left high and dry if the vendor went out of business. And finally, uh, a few years ago, there was integration of uh, both the billing as well as clinical into electronic systems. Uh, what I used to do was uh, about 15 years ago, when I went to the emergency department or if I went to the office uh, or the hospital at night, I had to wait about 15 or 20 minutes before charts were brought to the floor when I saw a patient, and a patient that I had seen, but I wouldn't remember the history. And that, I found, took a long time. So I got my uh, transcriptionist to type everything on paper, give me a hard copy, and also give me a CD of my patients. So over the last 10 years, I've collected all my patients onto CDs, and then ultimately, uh, it went on to flash drives because the volume was too much for a couple of CDs. And finally, a big flash drive, about 32 gigabytes. And I was thinking of getting a bigger flash drive until Practice Partners and McKisson came along and offered us the EMR. So I stopped using my transcriptionist now. And uh, I've done everything electronically. So for me, it wasn't a big jump from uh, digital to digital, I have everything on a flash drive, so I uh, can pull it out, cut and paste, and go directly into the patient's chart. So I didn't have the problem about getting somebody to scan all the documents. There's some of the old stuff that we've used, the old dictaphone, the cassettes, the Olympus uh, dictaphone, digital, the CDs, and now the flash drives. And without further ado, I'll go to practice partners and show you how I use it. Now, when I come to the office, I open my desktop. And by the way, you need a big screen. The laptop screen is too small and the fonts are 10. You can barely see that. So you need a big screen. It makes life much easier. So when you open the chart, this is what you see. And uh, if you open the dash, you get a list of patients that you're going to be seen for today. Uh, you can back up and go to previous few, a few previous days' work or however far you want to go back. Uh, then you can look at your schedule and see what's there. Or you can go directly to a patient's chart. And You can pull up a patient's chart. And this is just like the chart that you have. You have all these tabs here, uh, progress notes, uh, tables, problem list flow charts. And on top, you have things that you use. The help, um, help is kind of meant for technical geeks. And I'm not a technical geek. I don't understand half the stuff that's there. I wish they had a manual that was more simple to use. Uh, patient info. You can put a patient's photograph in that, and this is what the secretaries do when they introduce the information. Uh, the patient education materials here, you can type in whatever you want to. If you want 
give a patient information about a stroke or uh, amaurosis fugax or uh, uh, things like that, you can pull it out here and give a patient a printout as the patient is leaving the office. This is the order tree. Now, you can pick out whatever orders you want to. And for example, if you, if I want to send a patient to radiology and I want an MRI scan, I just click MRI scan and then the cervical spine and I can add it down there and put the information that I need. The diagnosis can go there. Uh, and my name is there, so the, this will appear on the uh, request order. And I can send it to the facility I want. Uh, this, is, this is just a test program. You have to put in the facilities that you use here. So it would be, first would be Eisenhower because they support the program. And everybody comes second after that. Uh, I can't show you right now. Yeah, okay. And you send this off, set the date and time, and you can send it off. Then the other tabs, uh, the important one is patient information. There's another tab that does the same job. And coming down here, we have progress notes and things like that. So we'll go straight to a progress note. Now this was something that I dictated earlier on. And if I want to add anything, I can either dictate it uh, through Dragon, or I can go to my flash drive. Oops, wrong flash drive. And I've got my patients down there. They're all in alphabetical order, so I can open any of these and uh, pick what I want, cut and paste and put it down here. I can't open that HIPAA laws, pro prohibit, me, prohibit me from doing that.